All right, everybody. Right now, I am joined with Fox 5's Emily Iketa live from Atlanta. Emily, the FBI is warning that all 50 states amp up security ahead of the inauguration, right? What can you tell us about what security precautions are in place in Georgia? Good morning, Rain. So overall, Georgia's governor, Brian Kemp, has remained pretty tight-lipped on security measures as to not tip off any criminals just days out of inauguration. But it's evident of the beefed-up security around the state capitol here. Simply by driving around the perimeter or on Washington Street here, you're going to find blockages like the ones you see behind me lining the entire state capitol. I will mention some of those have been in place for several months, but also we're seeing just uh, an increase in security and law enforcement presence, both on the the exterior and interior of the state capitol actually on the day of the storming of the u.s capitol here at the state capitol uh governor brian kemp gave a news conference and uh you could see an increase in armed guards really patrolling under the gold dome but here uh they're really working hand in hand with several entities to keep this building secure uh, including the department of public safety georgia state patrol uh G the georgia national guard and what they're saying is that they are well postured and well prepared for anything and everything and some local law enforcement agencies their responses were put to the test just last night a block from the state capitol on trinity avenue there was a suspicious package so this whole area was just flooded with blue lights the swat team um, zeroed in on that that suspicious package fortunately it ended up being just a false alarm a bag with some kind of liquid inside but it certainly underscored rain uh, authorities vow to be at the ready just days ahead of inauguration. Now, Emily, you mentioned a suspicious package that ended up being in the all clear. Any idea of the current threat level in the area? So some possibly good news there. The governor says he's been working hand in hand with the FBI, getting the latest up to date information. And at last check, he says that the threat level here in Georgia remains low, but he's not going to be taking that for granted. He says he says that's why he is making sure local law enforcement agencies are again ready for anything and everything. Something else I will mention, too, is that the governor and the leaders of these various entities, these law enforcement entities, um, have said that they are for and supportive of peaceful protests, but where they're going to draw the line is with violence and any unlawful activity. Rain. Emily with Fox 5 Atlanta, thank you so much.